In this example, we are going to rewrite each equation in slope y-intercept form. So we are going to write each of these equations in the form of y equals mx plus b. And remember, the b is the y-intercept, and the m, and only the m, is the slope. Okay, so to do this, all we really need to do is arrange y on one side and all of the other um, numbers and variables on the other. So the 2y stays where it is because it's on the correct side. We need to move the x over so it becomes negative x, and the 6 comes over and it becomes a negative 6. So far, so good, but we are not finished yet because we need to make y by itself. And the only way to make y by itself is to divide both sides by negative 2. So we divide both those sides by negative 2. Two negatives gives us a positive. Equals. And remember, even though it's x over 2, there's always a 1 in front of the x. So in fact, we've got a negative and a negative, 1 half x. And then 6 over 2, uh, we've got two negatives, so that becomes a positive. So it would be positive 6 over 2. And then we want to go in lowest terms, of course, because we're not finished until it is in lowest terms. And the 6 over 2 would be a, uh, we divide both of them by 2. And we get a 3 over 1, or a 3. So when it finally asks us what the slope is, the slope is a half. And the y-intercept, or the b, is a 3. <clears throat> In this example here, we have a few more variables we have to deal with. But again, the basic point of y equals mx plus b still stands. That's the way we need this equation to look. So the y is OK where it is. We can leave it there. We're going to move the 4 to the other side of the equal sign. So we have plus 4, because it's a negative change to a positive, plus 3, plus 2, negative x. All of these stay the same because they're on the correct side of the equal sign. So what we have to do now is y equals, and let's put what uh, the, let's group together the similar. The x's, let's group together. We have a 4x minus x, so that's going to give me a 3x. And we have a 3 plus a 2, which gives me a 5. Now the y is all by itself, so we don't need to do anything else. If they ask us what the slope is, we have 3, which is 3 over 1 if you're going to do rise over run. And if they ask you what the y-intercept is, it's 5. And again, there's your y-intercept, there's your slope.